What's up everybody? Thursday morning, day four of the uh, five day marathon of cheap, shooting cheap videos. Cheap videos! Cheap, cheap, cheap. Just take my cell phone and upload it. <sighs> so, that's what we're doing. I'm here at the Dallas OC. And, um... I got in last night about, ooh, man, bright light on my face there. At least the camera shows that, it, that it's bright. It's not really bright. It's cloudy outside. But, um, man, man, it's bright. Can't believe that. Why are you so bright? Anyways, um, got in last night about one something. I went and... check to see you know how I told you I needed my truck wash I went to go check to see if they had a credit for the uh, truck to be washed over at the streak and beacon nah nah there's two different uh, PMs that they do for us and I guess mine wasn't the one available for a um, look at there I'll leave myself white, man. I'm not looking good in the morning. I just woke up. Um, so, I'm not going to get my truck washed today. That's what I'll have to... Unless I wait in three months, which I doubt I will. I, this thing's got to be clean. So, I may try to... There, There is a place down the road about 25 miles that I could do it myself. I just don't... You know, forty, fifty dollars to do it when I could sit, you know, at a streak and bacon. That I could do the same job if I put a little elbow grease into it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it'd be like far less, far less. Just you know, save up a bunch of quarters. You know. So that's what I got going on. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. It's cloudy and they're expecting storms. Um. I may do it today, but since it's my money, I may wait until after it rains and then do it, but, um, needless to say, this thing needs to be washed, so I get up this morning, actually, I, I just like, it's like a habit, just a habit, wake up, I check my email, and, um, on my phone here. And then a lot of times I just roll over and go to sleep. But I had a missed call. A couple of missed calls. A couple voicemails. And um, talking about how uh, a driver wasn't going to be able to cover a load. Uh, that was, I guess, starts at 10 o'clock. Man, I got here at 1 something. So that means I'm good at 11 something. That means I'll be getting there a couple hours late. Um, so they haven't put anything on my Qualcomm. So I haven't called them back yet. I'm going to take a shower. After I take a shower, I'll call them and say what's up. Because it's like um, 9.37. I guess I was the first one that called. I don't know. Um, I had a late, late delivery, and they know that, and I, um, usually, usually there's about, whew, about 10 drivers that are coming back from last night for either from Houston or Austin area, and, um, or eight or something like that. It's qu quite a bit, and um, so if those guys couldn't have got in before I did, because I had the late load, I had the midnight delivery there in Austin. Those guys, and I got unloaded early. Man, there's a lot of people going to take a shower. I should be like getting in line for a shower instead of doing this. 
But anyways, I'll call here after I get out of the shower and all that. But what is it? What I say it was about 9.38. So I'm sure they probably got it taken care of because the missed calls and voicemails were at like uh, 7 something uh, this morning. So that's what we got going on today, yo. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm ready for the weekend. See, uh, I always tell drivers that, you know, you can start off, you know, I think Schneider has his policy of, you know, six months or what have you. But get on a dedicated account and have a life. Have a life at home other than driving these trucks. And believe it or not, my experiences... Dedicated pays more than OTR or regional. My experiences, I've driven for Schneider, made, still making really good money doing dedicated. Tango Transport made decent money. Wasn't as good as I'm making now. Now I drove with Warner. Y'all know I drove with Warner and their dedicated. And I had to drive dedicated. And I was a trainer on their dedicated. And, um, which would paid more than their system driver, their OTR and all that. So, um, that's just my experiences with dedicated. Um, you know, it's because. Not only do you have your predictable stuff, you know, but, you know, with this, with what I do, I have the multiple drops. And like I said, you know exactly where you're going. You unload, you get back on the road, and you know where you're going. Instead of you get unloaded and you sit there and wait for your next load, there's none of that going on. You know where the heck you're going. With our particular account, what we do... Say if we got delivery down in Houston from Dallas here, we we'll go down to freaking Dallas or Houston, unload four, five, six, seven drops, what, whatever it is for that day. We're empty. We turn around, and come back empty, back to Dallas, or like Austin, or Oklahoma City, places like that around here. So I mean that's where we make our money because we keep rolling. We're always working. You know, and if we're sitting there waiting at a store, that store, each drop pays 25 bucks, you know. So, most of the time you don't spend any more than an hour um, in there. Most of the time it's 20, 30 minutes. That'd be average. So, that you know, that's where we make our money. And so, I do suggest that. Even if you don't have a family and what have you, there's dedicated routes that are actually OTR. You know, that are, um, you know, you don't go home every weekend. But if you got a family and stuff, you know, if you're not doing local, I, you know, I, I do suggest local stuff, you know, if it pays. Where I live, there's no freaking local. I mean, you know, there are, but, you know, they don't, can't even really touch the salary I'm making. Um, so I, I do what I do. Now, if you live, like, in a big city or whatever, get on with those LTL carriers, man. You make just a killing, man. But, uh, I will say at Schneider, typically people make more money when they're dedicated. And that goes with pretty much every company. Swift, all those. So, but I, I will say from first hand, that's how it is at Schneider. Make money with Schneider. And, yeah, that's what we're here for. Not here to out here to play freaking games. It's out here to make money and, and it's fun. Trucking is fun. I'll, you know, it really is. Or I wouldn't have done, done it for so long. It has its bad moments and stressful moments, but all in all, when it comes down to it, it's fun stuff. If you look at all the Trucker Raichu videos, I'm pretty much having fun. Even in the videos I'm not having fun, I'm having fun. Yeah, that's what I said.
<laughs> so y'all, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see about taking a shower and all that. Looks like that's what this guy got done. He got done taking a shower. Maybe one opened up. So I'm gonna go get clean. It's Thursday. Video number one of the day. I may have more. It just depends on what's going on because I've got a real slow day today. Um. Tomorrow I'm going up to, uh, let's see, Greenville, Paris, Texarkana, then back here to locals, and then I am going to turn around and take my butt to the house tomorrow. I am happy that the weekend is almost here. I just hope they don't just go screwing around stuff because some drivers can't uh, work. <laughs> you know, that's always, I, I, I get excited about a weekend and someone, you know, wants to screw it up by getting sick or something you know <laughs> you know but uh last week was pretty good this week's not gonna be quite as good but it's acceptable i'll go in the office today and tell him you did all right for a boss man so that's it y'all y'all take care and uh see you tomorrow or maybe even later on today if i'm bored enough and if i have something that I'm pissed off about too. You know how it is. You know, gotta tease the haters. Alright y'all, take care out there. 73.